Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a few PR products here from Rosalyn. They asked if I'd like to try their full cover tip, so I said yes. And they also sent some nail glue gel. And it comes in this little box here. And it is a, uh, I believe it's a 15 ml. And it is seven free, so it has seven less toxins in it that are in some other types of nail uh, glues. So we get this little pamphlet, just tells you instructions how to use it. Some warnings there. And I really like the bottle. The packaging is really cute. It's black with like gold and it's got that little red strip on the bottom. I don't know, it just looks like really elegant. It's really pretty. And the consistency is nice. It's not really thick and it's not thin. So we'll go ahead and we're gonna give that a try. And I like the little box they came in. Like I like this red, you know, and there's 504 tips in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how they come in this little box. And these are the medium coffin. And so you just slide the little box out there and then we get another little pamphlet here that tells you about the nail tips. It shows you the kind of tips they have and like the measurements. So you can get your sizes and stuff, which is cool. I've never seen that before. And then we get some questions and answers there. And so this is how the tips come in this box. It's separated. It's separated, but they all come on one little, like the plastic little strip there. Yeah, I was just showing you, they're all in there. <laughs> So yeah, you, they go from size 11 to size zero, which is nice because I have a very tiny pinky nail and I usually wear an 11. Um, most, most of the times, a lot of the companies, they start off with a 10. So that's usually what I wear. So it was nice that they had an 11. And they do have a little bit of an apex. So I'm just gonna take one off here and just show you um, how they fit. I liked it because it was weird. It kind of had like a suction. Like it kind of stuck to my nail a little bit because the way it was kind of curved. I don't know, I liked it. It was really nice. They fit really nice and they are that coffin shape, which I love coffin. Uh, really durable, um, not real flimsy at all. I'm just showing you there how it looks. But yeah, really nice. I'm just going in and checking. Usually on my middle finger, I wear a five. So now we're gonna go ahead and get into the set. And I do have some rubber base on my nails that I'm in the process of taking off, but I wanted to get this video um, done. But yeah, you can see the tip kind of stuck there a little bit, like a suction. I don't know, it was cool. I like the tips. So I'm just gonna go ahead and size all my tips out here. And I did speed up. Uh, this part so yeah, like I said I usually do wear a five on my middle so it fit perfect and then um, on my thumb I wear a one I was just checking that to see and yeah the one fit really good going to take my file and file off that little plastic part where we tore it off you know the plastic has that little little thing on the end just going to file that off so now we're going to take the glue and I'm going to show the middle or the pinky in real time I brush a little bit um, on the nail bed part and then I do rub the brush just to get a little dollop of it on there and then when you're when you push the nail tip down it makes the glue kind of spread out everywhere. So that's how I do it. That's how I apply my glue. 
But yeah, no bubbles or anything. Like no bubbles at all. I really liked it. I did have a little bit seep out and I just stuck it under there for a few seconds before it got too hard. And then I took it out and I was able to wipe it off um, just with a little wipe here. But yeah, I like it. I like the tips. They fit really good. Nice sidewall to sidewall and the shape. I love the coffin shape. So yeah, you're just gonna see me, I sped it up. I'm just gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna go ahead and apply all the tips. And so I just go ahead and flash cure. But yeah, look at that, no bubbles or anything. Go ahead and flash cure. And then once I have them on, we go ahead and cure the whole hand for 60 seconds. All right, and so these are the tips on here. Really nice, no bubbles. Uh, I did have a little bit of seepage, um, but I usually get that with any any tips, you know, any brand, any glue I use, so. But I'm just gonna go ahead and buff the, the surface of the nail here with a buffer. And then I do go around with this little bit here. I love this bit here to go around the cuticles and this helps to remove anything out and also makes the tip uh, more flush with the cuticle area. So I just go ahead and do that around all the nails. And then I'm so dumb. I was gonna, I, I went ahead and took that ring finger off cause I wanted to do the lazy girl method. I wanted to see how it works with the tips. And I had this color here. Um, I forgot the name of it was a shiny pink. It's just a clear with a bunch of glitter. And I ordered that actually, oh gosh, like last year or maybe a year and a half ago. And I just love it. It's super shiny and it's so pretty. So I just wanted to use that. And I did have their slip solution and brush because they did send me a PR package, I believe it was last year. They sent me an opal poly gel to try. And I really do like their poly gel too, it's nice. Um, so yeah, I wanted to try the lazy girl method with the tips, so that's what we're doing here. And I did apply a little bit too much in there. So I'm putting it all out and then you'll see me remove a little bit of the excess. It was just, I filled it up too much. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just wiping off the sticky layer, um, especially underneath the poly gel sticky. So you wanna wipe that with the alcohol. I did have a little bit of excess come out. So again, I'm just taking that little bit and just removing that um, excess poly gel. All right, so now I'm gonna go in. I'm trying to use Rosalind products that I have. I don't have a lot. Um, but I didn't want to use like any other kind of nail polish. So I do have this builder gel that I bought a while ago. And so I'm just going to be applying that to the nails. But first I'm going to be using their base coat. And I'm just going to apply a layer of base coat to all the nails. And I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. Yeah, like I said, I'm trying to use all the same brand, you know, their products. So I'm just using what I have. And actually, I actually haven't used it yet, so that's why I'm like, okay, this is a good chance to use it. I haven't really used Builder Gel that much at all. Um, I think I've used it on my practice hand a couple times. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and just lay down like a slip layer first. I've seen people do that and then I'll go in with like a little thicker amount. And yeah, it's a lot harder. I need to get a different kind of like a, like a builder gel kind of gel brush. It probably would have been easier to apply it. I was just using the little brush, um, you know, that came in there. Cause I've seen people do that and they make it look so easy. It just flows down. But um, I kind of made it a little, they kind of came out a little bit thick, but like I said, you know, you just gotta practice. Like I said, I haven't even done builder gel really on myself, I don't think so. But yeah, so I do that to um, all the nails except for the ring finger. I just go in and try to move that gel around. Like I said, they did come out a little bit bulky, but that's why we have files. So you can just file that away. But I like the color. It's a milky color. Um, I'd like to do milk uh, bath nails next time. I was just, I couldn't really figure out what I wanted to do, but, but yeah, that's how the color came out, the alcohol. And we're gonna wipe off that tacky layer. See, so yeah, I did about two layers of this and I cured each layer for about 60 seconds. And so now we're just gonna go in and just shape up everything. I'm gonna use a hand file and then I do go in with the drill. I don't think I showed too much of the filing, but yeah, they weren't too bad though. But yeah, I definitely wanna practice more with the builder gels. So yeah, I'm just taking my sanding band and just going around and just trying to make everything nice and smooth. All right, so I decided to go with like a My Melody um, theme. I have these stickers here, I have that charm, and then I've had this stamping plate. I haven't even used it yet because it's still got the blue film on it. It's got Karomi, but then it also has my Melody. So I just thought with that glitter being pink, I don't know, I just wanted to do that. So I have this other stamping plate too that has like hearts. And I just wanted to do a background of hearts. I did that on the majority of the nails. Um, I did that on the pinky, the ring, and the thumb. I mean, not the, not the ring finger, the middle finger. But yeah, it's actually hearts and little star for just like a soft pink kind of look. So I use that as a background. And I liked it, it came out really cute. So yeah, I did that on the middle finger also. I'm gonna be putting the charm on that middle finger. So I'm going in with this pink, it's a little bit darker. And we're gonna be putting the My Melody on my index finger. I would have used a little bit darker pink, but like I said, I kind of was going for like a soft, it's a soft look, but yeah, she came out really cute. And then I wanted to add something else to the nail, so I just went in with this brighter pink and just wanted to do this little heart and it had like little polka dots on it. And then for the thumb, I did the, the hearts and stars as the background. And then I just put this little sticker, a uh, little My Melody sticker. I'm trying to use a lot of stuff that I have. I have so much foil stickers and, you know, I'm like, I'm buying this stuff and I got to use it. So you're going to be seeing a lot of stickers, stamping, all that kind of stuff. And then for the ring finger, I decided to go in and put some rhinestones on there. I put this heart um, down by the cuticle and it's this real pretty pink color. And then I went in with this other um, little shape, like a long kind of oval shape. But 
But yeah, I just thought this little charm was super cute. And I still wanted to add something to that index finger. So I just took two round little pink rhinestones and just added them like above her, kind of catty corner, like above her head a little bit. I don't know, I just wanted to add something. It needed something else, so. All right, so this is the finished set here. I think they came out really cute. I really enjoyed these tips. Like I said, they're great for everyday wear. Um, you can get these on Amazon. I'll have the link down below. And they also gave me a code. I'll put it up on the screen and also down below for 10% off. And it's good till October or August 31st. So thank you so much, Rosalind, for sending these tips and the glue. I absolutely enjoyed using the products. And thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.